So hey, what's up guys, it's your boy Soldier Gray and a happy new year to everyone. 2021 was a roller coaster, at least for me, it was kind of crazy. A lot of things happened to me in 2021 and I'm just grateful to God that I am here today. Um, whatever goal you set for yourself in 2022, no matter the challenge, you are going to kill it. So um, I'm just excited for you and I'm excited for what we can achieve together in 2022. That being said, this video is about, you know, upping your productivity. In this video, I'll be sharing with you six impressive Mac apps that you can use on your Mac device to up your productivity. So um, without talking so much, let's jump right into it. The first app I want to talk about is Menu Bar X. And I just found this app on Product Hunt. I think it's a great app. What it does is that it lives in your menu bar and any website at all that you ideally have to open on say Chrome or Safari, you can have it sitting in your menu bar. So for example, I have Pinterest opened and I have Mobin. Now these are two apps I love to use. Mobin is for UI design and Pinterest is for really gaining um, inspiration in whatever field you're interested in. So I love to have these two in my menu bar so that um, anytime I need to get inspiration or I need to do something UI design related, I just have to go to my menu bar. I don't have to go open Safari or Chrome and type in the search bar. Like, I just want to get things done with ease and get things done faster. And I feel menu bar X does that absolutely well. The great thing about it is that it's free and the installation process is actually very simple. Everything I talk about will be linked uh, in this video so you can have easy access to it. So the first app is Menu Bar X. So now let's talk about the second app. It's called Quick Shade. Now there are a lot of people who love to work in the evenings because sometimes it's, it's just so natural that your, your energy is so high in the evening and you want to get some work done. But the thing is that sometimes your MacBook screen can be very bright. Now even though you, you reduce the, the brightness to the lowest, you find that deep in the night, if you're using your laptop, it's still bright and it kind of is harsh on your eyes. Now what QuickShade does is that it gives you the ability to even reduce the brightness of your screen to a lower degree. So it takes it down beyond the normal level, making it very comfortable to um, view the content on your screen. So I find it that um, anytime I use QuickShade, I'm able to stay on my computer for longer, maybe when I'm studying or when I'm working, which is an amazing thing. Now the third productivity app that you should install on your MacBook in 2022 will be Hidden Bar. Hidden Bar is an impressive app. It helps you hide all the activities on your menu bar with just one click. I just find it distracting having a lot of um, items on the menu bar sometimes. And especially when I'm studying, I just wanna be focused and I just want to see anything. I just want to see what I'm reading, right? I didn't have any app to do that till I found Hidden Bar and it's been a lifesaver. You just tap one button and it clears everything, leaving your menu bar very clean and I just love it that way. So that's my third app. Let's move to the fourth app. The fourth app is Macy and it's spelled M-A-C-C-Y. It is a universal clipboard application that lives in your menu bar. I kind of find it very helpful and very efficient to have apps that actually live in your menu bar. So you don't have to go into the app drawer and you know open an app and run it. It lives in your menu bar, literally. So you can just tap your menu bar and then you have access to it. Now what it does is that anytime you copy anything, so it can be text, it can be an image, and so once you copy it, it kind of saves into Macy. So anytime you want to go back to it, you can go to Macy and you can copy it. And one thing I like about Macy is that it keeps a long history of things you copy. So anytime you want to paste it, it's so easy. Now you can um, have 
uh, things that you've copied over like weeks, you're gonna still have it living in Macy, which is great. So for example, if you copied a particular link, if you copied a particular number that you need to get access to, you can open Macy from your menu bar and you can have easy access to it. How cool is that? Now, let me talk about the fifth productivity app. Now, this is an app I've been using for almost everything design related and I find it so helpful and I just want to tell you guys about it. So that app is called Canva. Now, a ton of you guys have probably heard me talk about Canva and one thing I like about Canva is that it's a design tool that anybody can use. So if you're an expert, if you're a novice, if you've not done design before, Canva is that software that you can use with no issues at all. So. Uh, for example, comparing Canva to Photoshop and Lightroom, you know, these Adobe apps can be very intimidating, but Canva isn't that way. It is very simple. The user interface is intuitive. And I also like the fact that it is available on the Play Store and the App Store. So you have, a, if you have an Android device, if you have an iPhone, you can access it. If you have a Windows device, you can access it. If you have a Mac, you can have the app installed on your Mac. If you don't have the app at all, you can run it as a web app in your Chrome or whatever browser you have. So it's very convenient. And anything you start on one device, you can continue on another device, which is great. So the continuity feature is amazing. The fact that it's simple to use is also impressive. So let me tell you some of the things you can do with Canva. Um, even if you don't have the pro version, you can do a lot of free things. You can, um, for example, if you're in school or if you're working and you want to um, design a presentation, um, that's what I use it for most of the times. You can, um, they have a lot of templates you can choose from and you can do your presentation. So if it's for a school or a group presentation on campus, or if it's a, a work related, um, you know, thing, you can do everything in Canva and it has all these um, impressive um, saving options. So you can save in PDF, JPEG, PNG, and even video format. So that is what I like about Canva. I mean, if you download it, you would, just be happy. I use the pro version and I think it's a lifesaver, especially if you use it for uh, work related things, I think you'll enjoy it. So that is the fifth app. Now what is our last productivity app that I would want you to um, have installed on your Mac? It's gonna be Free Download Manager. Um, free Download Manager is a free downloading software that you can use on the Mac. If you're coming from Windows, you would know how fast Internet Download Manager is. And I think Free Download Manager is kind of the Mac version um, of IDM. It's very fast. I find that when I'm downloading something using the normal Chrome or Safari browser, as compared to when I'm downloading something in Free Download Manager, I find that Free Download Manager is way faster than these other two browsers. So if you're someone who wants to have that speed when you're downloading something, it can be images, it can be all these um, design assets, or it can be movies or music, you're going to have faster download speeds using Free Download Manager. It does have sort of a plugin that you can install on the uh, Safari or Chrome browser so that anytime you click download on any item, it routes it through the Free Download Manager app. And it's, it's one of those apps that, you know, you don't know how amazing it is unless you download it. So guys, these are the six apps I feel are gonna help me when it comes to productivity in 2022. And I hope it helps you as well. I go by the name Soji Gray and I will catch you in another one. Peace out.